Hey good humans, if you didn't know, we recently dropped our human good service level collection at humangoodla.com and we're running out really fast. So make sure to stick around after the video for a special promo code. Till then, enjoy this episode. The USA celebrates its heritage and identity as a nation of immigrants. What adds to the diversity is the Asian American population that traces its roots to more than 20 countries in Asia, each having a different culture and a unique characteristic. In this episode of Odd Man Out, let's see how easy it is for the moon to fake an identity. We brought together seven Asians, blindfolded. I'm Asian. I'm Asian. I am Asian. I'm Asian. I'm Asian. I'm Asian. I'm Mexican. One is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the entire prize. This is Odd Man Out. Hi, my name is Chriselle and I'm the first person in line. Hi, my name is Josh and I'm the second person in line. My name is Brianna, I'm the third person in line. My name is Zaldi and I am the fourth person in line. And I'm Aaron, I am the fifth person in line. My name is Michelle, I'm the sixth person in line. I'm Preet and I'm the seventh person in line. Uh, I'll start. Uh, no shoes inside the house, plain and simple. I think, I mean, most Asian parents probably have that. I don't know if this was like specific to Filipinos. They always said like not to sleep with your feet facing the door because the ghosts can take you or, or something like that. We had it, you don't sleep facing the mirror. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. My strategy going into the game is trying to ask about different cultural nuances that people have experienced because a lot of people like Asian culture, a lot of people like Asian food, a lot of people like Asian women. Were any of you guys born in your native countries? Or nope. were you guys born no. I'm a third generation. I was born in Whittier, so it's like really white there, but my parents came from India and yeah, they were just here to come for a better life, so. Can we uh, talk about like things that your non-Asian friends didn't get that you had to do? Um, they didn't get that I liked spam. Oh, I love spam. Oh, on. One thing I didn't get, um, anytime I like I would spend the night at my like non-Asian friends' house, particularly my white friends, I noticed some of them like if they would get into arguments with their parents and they would argue back really hard. And I was thinking to myself, I would never do oh, that yeah. with my mom. Would... When white people call their parents um, by their by first their name, first name, I was just gonna oh, ask. Like, how can you do that? <laughs> if I called my mom yeah. and dad their first name, they would have just like, nah. I personally thought the mole was going to be like this white like anime lover. I did think the mole was white. I did think the mole was white, yes. Why is that? Um, just because I have like a lot of friends and family that like uh, are Asian, but they are married to someone that usually is white. Um, so just going off of, I guess, like prior judgment, I kind of just made that, made that call. Does everyone speak uh, in their native tongue fluently? Uh, I am not fluent. I can understand, yeah, I understand it. Understand and... it. Or do you guys have like a Asian name? Yes, my Asian name is. My Asian we... name is Du Boy. Well, I, I feel like there's like... someone here who hasn't spoken much. Yeah, I feel like that would be a good indication of like, just me like being like the quiet one in the group. I felt like that kind of just like gave it away that I wasn't like telling the truth. My so parents are like whitewashed, so <laughs> oh. it's like I barely like I'm not fluent in our native language, but. Do they give you a name? I have an oh, American name, it's just Brianna, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I feel like every Asian has a Asian name. Oh, where are you and from? Then, well, yeah, what ethnicity are you again? I'm Japanese. Okay. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. The Japanese one, uh, when do you celebrate New Year? Um, January 1st. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I would be as nervous as I was, but once I started asking like the tougher questions, I kind of was like trying to think fast. Have any of you guys been back to like, or have been to your native countries? I've never been yes. to Never India. been? Yes. yes. Really? Yeah. Well, for those of you who have been, when was the last time that you went? I went 2013, because my sister just got married to a white guy. All the stereotypes that were discussed were definitely valid questions. However, I don't think that's like the best way to judge if someone is Asian or not. I voted for Josh because it was very quiet. I would think that the mole didn't want to reveal himself too much. Uh, a lot of our answers weren't too detailed. I hate to be stereotypical, but it was the way that he sounded. Bye. Bye. I feel like Mexicans and Asians are kind of like, we have a lot of similarities. You feel like you're kind of in the middle. Oh, I'm like, 
Chinese, but I'm American, so it's like, which culture are you more? So Josh, tell me about like, when there's a disagreement with your parents, how does that usually go? Oh dude, honestly man, it's my parents' way or the highway. <laughs> like what happens if like you really piss them off? Um, like when you were younger, dude. me growing up, um, I just saw a stark difference between how my Asian friends act around parents versus my non-Asian friends act around their parents. We were pretty like Americanized, or I mean, I grew up pretty Americanized, so like, like I never really had too much of a disagreement with my parents. I would always kind of just like follow the way. Chriselle, uh, when was the last time your mom to or your parent, dad told you that they, that they loved you? I just felt like he was trying to steer the conversation away from him. So just going off of that, I felt like he was definitely the mole. I'm actually kind of estranged from my parents, but like I'm kind of like trying to rebuild with my mom. She used to never say that she loved me, but now every time that we do talk, she does because it's kind of complicated. <laughs> and if, if you guys ever get in a real big conflict, does, uh, was lot, do they ever apologize at all? Or? No, no mm. never. I mean, my parents mm -hmm. And that's partially why I'm kind of estranged from Especially my dad, like that's why I'm kind of a str My parents are divorced, by the way, okay. um, which was unheard of. I mean, Filipinos are Catholic and they like don't divorce. I don't want to be racist. Ah. Um, in my perception, a lot of like white families go through the, like divorce, but also she just sounded very like Americanized. What's the most Cambodian thing about you? Oh God. Hmm. Well, we would go the we'd go the New Year's in April every year. Uh, we have a big festival. What's uh, your favorite Cambodian food? Oh, uh, is it bulk sauce? Do you have you heard of it? What is it? Bulk sauce, fermented fish. Oh no. I'm That's not. like the one thing non-Cambodians can never say because it's like it smells bad, it looks bad. You said that you're third generation, pre right? Sorry, yeah. no, I'm first generation. Oh, first generation. American. Why I'm did so I hear sorry. someone say third generation? Oh, I said yeah, third yeah. by oh, accident. Oh, you did. Okay, okay. I said third by accident. Okay. I'm first okay. generation American. So. Your parents immigrated here? Yes, back in 1986 and then 1990. Okay, and, and what and part of- And do you have a girlfriend? Me? Yeah. No. When he said he was third generation and then he backed up and said, oh no, I'm first generation, that was kind of a red flag to me. I meant to say third generation Christian because my family was Hindu before. I meant to say first generation American. After she talked about the relationship with her parents, it raised a little doubt in my mind. We the three people that were to my left were giving just such great answers. My boy Josh was just kind of piggybacking off those answers. In terms of being like estranged or cutting them out, it's not something that you typically hear when it comes to Asian families. I do think that not fitting into those stereotypes is what got me out. Raise your hand if you have any doubts and would like to continue the game. Did you guys ever like talk to your parents about like your mental health growing up? No, no, that, was, that, that wasn't ever no, part of our culture. Never. But I feel like, I mean, yeah, they're, they're very like, what, what does that even mean? Like therapy? Yeah. No, but I feel like, you know, times are changing and like, I was gonna if you just talk about it with them, they'll, they're always there to understand, but. Did you ever have the talk? like the birds and the bees talk with no. your parents. No, nope. Yeah, no, yeah. I had to like figure it out myself. <laughs> Did your parents let you like date in high school or even like middle school? No, because no. it was more of like a, like you weren't ready type of thing. My parents were always like, don't date, don't date, don't date growing up. Same. And then now I'm like, okay, I didn't date. And now I'm like single and they're yeah. like, that's what I'm go now. date, go date. <laughs> now my dad's like, yo, we're my grandchildren. Yeah, <laughs> Are you guys into like any like Asian trends, I guess? I mean, if TikTok is a trend. <laughs> I gotta say, like, I do like K-pop. Um, not oh, BTS, okay. but some of the older ones, like uh, uh, Girls' Generation, I like them. And then Super Junior. I mean, I'm sure you're a fan of, like, the Any song, you know? The... 21. There's, like, some trend going on, like, people doing videos of, like, dun -dun 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 -dun, you know, like, this thing. Okay, I'm not, like, super into K-pop, but, oh, okay. like, you know, I was, I was like, like, <laughs> like... I was like, if you're into K-pop, you should know that, though, because it's no, a really big thing. No, I mean, if it, if it comes up on, like, Apple Music, then, yeah, I'll listen to it. I'm not too sure who any of those people are, yeah, to be I honest. Yeah, I don't know anything about people. <laughs> yeah. Wait, where'd you say your parents are from? They're from in India? India, but we live in Ontario, California. Oh, but right where now. in India? Gujarat. No one really knows where Gujarat is. What are your uh, parents' names? My parents? Yeah. My mom's name is actually Spanish, so her name's Leona, but she goes by Ina now, and then my dad's name is Ashish. My parents have super white names, actually. It's Ellen and Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> So when you said that your parents had white names, did you think that people will get, will get suspicious? A part of me, yes. And then um, someone next to me asked, oh, what are their 
Asian names. And I was like, oh gosh, I don't even know. And their birth names? Uh, I actually don't. Youngjin and my mom's is, I'm not really sure. So just to say that I'm not Asian, I don't have any arm hair if you guys want to feel. <laughs> what? I don't have any arm I mean, hair. I'll just feel. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Is that oh. a thing? I mean, oh. not that. Yeah, I don't, don't really have any arm hair. I don't feel anything. And the body hair. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, I mean, like, I had to use stereotypes to defend myself because I wanted to be sure that I was going to win. <laughs> Let's say they'd never seen my face and they're only talking to me, they would think I'm white. And that was the reason why I was voted off because I don't, I sound too, like, too much like a surfer dude. I grew up in the suburbs of Oregon, so. So raise your hand if you have any doubt All right. I think we got them. I feel like we got I them. I don't think so. Who'd you think it was? Josh, bro, I swear, mm. my man, like. All right. No. So if the lights turn green, the vote is the mode out. If the lights turn red, the mode is still in the box and moves. And the lights turn green. Oh! Oh, oh my gosh, I thought because oh. I can't see. All right, so you can open your blindfolds. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> It was Vienna. <laughs> so, we got it. We all like. Dude, we were right the first the time. Asians were against each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, I definitely thought she was Japanese. The way she kind of spoke and the way she kind of carried herself. I just assumed she was a quiet Japanese girl. Last semester, I did take Japanese class. I could speak like a little bit. I'm not like fluent. I wanted to see if I was able to distinguish people, what differentiates people, or as well as you know, what experiences have they gone through that I can also relate to. Yeah, I, I feel very comfortable talking about my race and ethnicity because, yeah, it matters. Oh, shoot. Oh, nice. I just throw it up? Oh, I, I've never oh. done that. It feels so good. Hey good humans, thank you for watching this episode of Odd Man Out. Make sure to check out our new Human Good Surface Level collection at humangoodla.com. We have amazing new bags, accessories, shirts, sweatshirts, sweatpants, etc. Also, you can use the special promo code hashtag surface and get a discount on your entire purchase. And don't wait for too long because the code expires 48 hours after the release of the video. Thank you for watching this episode and you have 47 hours, 59 minutes and 50 seconds left. 49, 48, 47. 46, 45. I'd always been self-conscious of my nose and I like begged my parents like, no, no, absolutely not. I got plastic surgery. 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 One of them is a liar.